Yo, what's good, YouTube? Hey, Kevin, the daughter, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is, man. You know who it is, man. It's your boy, King James. Hey, you better give it that number one, man. The dead man. I'm just gonna talk about if it's really still profitable to be a rapper in the SA music industry, man. Yeah, I mean, can you still make bucks? of rapping on a mic and on a hip hop beat. You know what I mean? These days it seems like it's no longer important for you to go out and make rap music because you know what I mean? There's whole different genres now that people are exploring. Uh, you may not just say rap music but all different genres within the rap scene people are getting to explore but this is not in South Africa yeah I mean South Africa people are exploring the Amapiano scene and that's without a doubt the most successful scene in the last three years you know I mean one man is flowing here the other Amapiano scene then the rap scene so yeah today if you want to be a rapper you just have to think about that it's less profitable for you to go on stage and, and rap of me which i will say is if that's what you're purely doing it for then might be the best thing to ever happen to you for you to quit or quit rapping which one of the two, either one of the two you pick will be fine with me because if you are rapping for a profit that means you don't really love what you do you don't love rapping, you don't love this shit I mean you're just doing it for profit and it makes money and so we don't need that your music is not gonna last your image in this car is not gonna last Definitely, you know what I mean? You know I'm gonna last. You know what I mean? So, if that was your pure reason of making rap music in the beginning, and start making it, you know what I mean? Now we'll say this, man. As much as, as you, you, you should make it for the love, making profit is important too. You know what I mean? It is quite important because if you don't make money that will substantiate your, your career and give you a good life, all in all, so you don't have to rely on other people, you know what I mean, then, yeah, you know I mean, it should work out, you should want to get paid for something you do, you know what I mean, and yeah, like, man, if you do visual effects, you should get paid for that, if you do whatever comedy, you should get paid for that, just because you love it doesn't mean you shouldn't get paid for it, yeah man, but just because the, the income is getting lower and lower, doesn't mean you should fucking jump the shit, because this is what you said you love at the beginning, can't turn your back because now the salary is low and stuff. You have to be the one working harder at it. So you get paid more than everybody else doing that same thing. You know what I mean? This is why a lot of rappers uh, are jealous of Aries and SDC because they uh, keep going at it even though. The salary bracket or you know what I mean, the, the, the status quo of the scene is not as good as it was when they came into the scene, but they stayed true and they stayed doing what they do, you know what I mean, so that gets them more revenue than any other uh, rappers in this country, so people now are like, what, confused, 
um, how these people get more money off of something that's making less money in general and that's the reason why because they did it for the love in the first place they never did it for the profit yeah I man so this is why they get to make more money than everybody else because everybody else is chasing that man they're not chasing them they're chasing their musical imprint they will leave behind once they are gone you are me so this is the importance of knowing of what you're doing and what you're doing it for so yeah man is hip hop that's profitable hell yeah I'm not gonna sit here and argue that no. No, you can make a lot of money. Uh, nah, you won't. You won't. But if you stay true, you will. You'll be because people outside this country will recognize hip hop is not for South Africa. And just get that out of the way. Um, this is, that genre is not made for this country. It's not a, this country is dominated by 80% of house listeners and followers over 80% so it's very congested market um, less than 15% are hip hop followers so if you're making hip hop you must definitely not making it for this country don't forget that yeah, man. That's just my thoughts on the situation. My evaluation of whether or not it's still more, it's still profitable to make mm, hip hop music in South Africa. Of course not. But you know what I mean? Yeah, it is a game of you know what I mean? Of replaceability. Every 10 years, there's a new genre that comes in and goes, but hip hop is in the longest staying mainstream genre in history. So, you can still rely on it from now till the future, but in this country, do not focus your attention on getting paid. Focus on making good music. That's it. That's my thoughts, man. You know what it is. Let me know yours. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You know what it is. It's your boy, Keith James. Man, support the channel. And yeah, man, turn on that notification bell. I'm about to speak.